my everyone I'm back again with another Christmas card and once again is using some retired stock apart from this paper this paper is in the current catalogue and I'm using this lovely stamp set oh bearing gifts apologies for the bark in the background <laughs> my mum's little dog has a sleepover every now and again and she's a bit excited so this is the stamp it's just the one stamp here this is quite a few years old now and what I've done I've made this one up here as you can see there's lots of dimension on this one I'm obviously not planning on sending this one in the post I've used some spell binders um, I've had these dies for years these curly frame dies but any sort of frame like that would work and I've used the layering square frame that's from Stampin' Up so this is quite a nice simple one to do so the first thing I'm going to do the colours in this paper are Flirty Flamingo, Real Red and Coastal Cabana and I'm picking up the Coastal Cabana theme on them I'm going really well on my Christmas cards I'm also doing a couple of Christmas craft fairs so I've got some things that I need to get sorted for that there we go just giving us a very thin border all around it of Coastal Cabana just to make it stand out a bit There we are, let's go in there. And then I've got, this is the back of that paper, just to give it a little bit of extra interest. And then I'm not putting all the just tiny little pieces back in my, my box because I do tend to keep all these little pieces. And as I say, often I use them, other times um, they just sort of languish there for a while. But what I've started doing now, I always keep my little bits of card because they're perfect for doing sentiments. But what I've started doing with little off cuts of paper, which I think, right, Nicola, you're really not going to use those. I take them into school and put them at the creative table and the children love it. So I'm using some Coastal Cabana here, which has got a bit of a gold. Oh, oh I don't know where this is coming out. It's very bright outside, so I've had to shut my blinds. Um, got a bit of gold thread around it. And what I've done, what did I do on this one? Did I wrap? Yeah, I wrapped it around the both on that one, but I'm just going to do it on this one. I am not that great at tying bows on screen. I just need a little bit. I'm actually in my pyjamas doing my crafting because half term is this week. Hooray, hooray, it's been a long time coming and I'm planning on decluttering this week because um, hopefully our house will be ready at some point next year, our new house. There we go. So I'm just trying to get that to lie flat now. That is the trouble I tend to have with ribbon sometimes, especially the really thin ribbon. It's trying to get it to do exactly what you want it to do. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit, I, I can see I've got a little bit of a, a twist in it, but there we go. Just sellotape that down at the back, make sure it's fairly straight at the front and just even this up. That one again. Some people do the most beautiful bows. That person isn't me. Oh, that's coming loose. Oh no, it's all gone wrong here. Yeah. So I'm just going to stick that down. <laughs> Between the dog barking downstairs, my cellar tape doing exactly what it wants. This card isn't doing particularly well. She has noticed, you see. But next door's cat has decided to come and sit on our garage roof. And Izzy is a Westie. And she doesn't like cats. Or any, re well, she doesn't really like dogs either. So she's not, she's not the dog friendliest of dogs. She loves people. I'm just going to stick that now onto the main card. So my challenge to you is to find one of your older stamp sets and mix it in with some of your new 
simple items and show it a little bit of love. So there we go. So once again, Coastal Cabana and Real Red. So these are the Spellbinders dies. I went through a stage, I think, of buying every shape that Spellbinder did. And doing very little with them, really. It's ones then that you go to shapes that you use all the time. But as I say, because I'm trying to declutter, I was looking through it and I was thinking, oh, I like this one. Oh, what did I ever use this one for? And then realised I probably hadn't used it at all. And it's just because, even though this, the layering squares, has got this lovely little scalloped edge square, there's not much of a border between the the larger square and that one. So I wanted to sort of make it stand out a little bit more. Otherwise, I just thought it might get lost on the top of this card. So this curvy one just makes it stand out a little bit more. There we go. I like the sentiment on this, bearing gifts of Christmas cheer. I was going to add another Christmas sentiment on the front but I thought I'd keep, uh, use the kiss method keep it simple stupid and just use the one so there it is and that is all done so what I've actually used is the paper that is called that's this is in the brand new catalogue let it snow speciality paper this one here and I've used beer and gifts. I've used some Coastal Cabana ribbon. I think this was in a trio. Either a, either a double pack of ribbons or a trio of ribbons. I'm trying to use some of my ribbons up as well. I'm in a real, you know, use it mood. And that's my card. So more cards ready for Christmas feeling on a bit of a mission so thank you once again for joining me huge welcome to all my new subscribers i'm nearly at 600 which is absolutely incredible i'm so delighted i would really love it if i could reach 600 by the end of october so if you haven't yet already subscribed i would absolutely love it if you did and if you hit the little notification bell it'll tell you when my next project is live i'm on a bit of a christmas card making mission this week so keep your eyes open there'll be another one soon thank you very much take care